Hi there, welcome to Sir Matigu channel. I'm still on triangle trigonometry. I would like to discuss angle of elevation and angle of depression. The angle of elevation is the angle from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to the object above. Also, the angle of depression is the angle from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to the object below. Let's have examples. A building is 30 meters high. If the observer is 40 meters away from it, determine the angle of elevation to its top. See the figure at the right. The height of the building is 30 meters. The distance from the building to the observer is 40 meters. We are about to find the angle of elevation. In this figure, we are able to form a right triangle. Opposite to angle theta is the opposite side. We also have the hypotenuse, the diagonal one. And uh, adjacent to the opposite side and the hypotenuse is called the adjacent side. Tangent theta is... Uh, Opposite side over adjacent side, which is 30 meters over 40 meters. Tangent theta is equal to 0 0.75. And theta is uh, equal to tangent raised to negative 1, 0 0.75. Theta is equal to 36.8 degrees. Suppose the height of the building is unknown. If the observer is 40 meters away from it and the angle of elevation is 36.8 degrees to its top, find its height. In this case, we will still apply tangent. Tangent 36.8 degrees is equal to x over 40. Let us solve for x using this formula. There we have it. X is equal to 30 meters, which is the height of the building. Now let us have another problem applying the angle of depression. An airplane flies a distance of 3.5 kilometers above the ground. A pilot sights an airport at an angle of depression of 38 degrees. Find the distance of the airplane along the ground to the airport. The pilot acts as an observer. And we form this type of angle. Angle theta is the angle of depression. The information given is 3.5 kilometers, which is the distance from the ground to the airplane. Also, the angle of depression is 38 degrees. We are asked to find the distance along the ground from the airplane to the airport. We will use tangent. Tangent 38 degrees is 3.5 over x. Let's solve x using this equation. x is equal to 3.5 over tangent 38 degrees. We can find tangent 38 degrees using the calculator and substitute this in the equation. So we have x is equal to 3.5 over 0.78. Finally, x is equal to 4.5 kilometers. This is the distance of the airplane to the airport along the ground. Suppose the angle of depression is unknown. But the distance of the airplane along the ground to the airport is 4.5 kilometers and its height from the ground is 3.5 kilometers. How do we find the angle of depression? All the given information are already in the figure, so what we need only now is the angle of depression, theta. Tangent theta is equal to 3.5 over 4.5. Dividing these numbers, we have 0 
we want to find only theta. So we have now theta is equal to tangent raised to negative 1, 0 0.77. Using the calculator, the value for theta is equal to 38 degrees. Let's have more problems to solve so that uh, you would be able to internalize this concept. A side of a tower is to be braced with two wires at the same point on the ground. The shorter wire forms an angle of elevation of 43 degrees. The longer wire is connected to the top and forms an angle of elevation of 64 degrees. The distance of the tower to the wires on the ground is 10 meters. How far from the top of the tower is the longer wire to the shorter wire? This problem is illustrated at the right. As we can see, the unknown part is in white segment. There are two right triangles being formed by the two wires. Let us separate these two right triangles. In the bigger triangle, let us denote the opposite side as A, while in the smaller triangle, we denote the opposite side as B. To find the unknown part, we are going to subtract A by B. We will find A and B using the angle of elevation concept. Let's begin with the smaller triangle. Tangent 43 degrees is equal to B over 10 meters. And B is equal to 10 times tangent 43 degrees. Using the calculator, B is equal to 9.3, that is 9.3 meters. Using the bigger triangle, let us find A. We have tangent 64 degrees is equal to A over 10 meters. Using the calculator, A is equal to 20.5 meters. Again, to find the unknown, we are going to subtract A by B. So we have 20.5 minus 9.3 and the unknown part is equal to 11.2 meters 